section. What's the overall section? Yeah, what's the topic? You so generally speaking in the use substitution section, you're probably going to use what? Although it didn't specifically say, and I think there are a couple you could have done without. Okay, that's totally legit. That's totally legit. So in this case, though, what would you try to do first? What would be your guess? U is what? 1 plus 2x. So du is what? 2 dx. dx. So dx is what? du over 2. So you're cruising along, you're substituting. What are the, what are the new limits of integration? 0 to what? <laughs> Uh, Zero to nine. You have to change this. Remember, we listed yeah. these out. You have to change. Wait, it's one. 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 Yeah, I got that wrong. One. Correct. And it's x over the square root of what? U, U times what? U. D over U. two. What can we factor out to the front? One half. So we end up with this. But what's the problem? There's an x. Yeah, but that magical ten. canceling didn't happen. But what do we still know? Y yeah. Look. Yeah. What does this mean? So therefore, 2x is equal to u minus 1. So what does x equal? 1 half u minus a half. So what can we substitute in? Yeah, so this is equal to 1 half of 1 to 9 of, and let's make it 1 half u minus 1 all over what? The square root of u du. What have we now gotten rid of? Remember step one of the other tips was you can substitute more than once? Totally, absolutely true. So what do you have to do at this point if you want to evaluate this integral? Yeah, you have to make it 1 fourth, 1 to 9 of u minus 1 over the square root of u. What do you have to do before you integrate this? Come on, kids. Simplify. simplify. So when you simplify this, it turns out to be 1 fourth, the integral from 1 to 9 of u over the square root of u minus 1 over the square root of u du, right? What's u over the square root of u? What power is that? Close. It's u to the first over u to the half. So what does it simplify to? u to the u to the one half minus u to the what? Negative one half. Negative one half. Du. Can we now integrate those? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You end up with one fourth the integral from one to nine of two thirds u to the three halves minus what? Two u to the one half, and we're doing it from. Oh, we just got to get rid of this. Sorry, from what? One to nine. One to nine. So when we plug this in, we get one fourth parentheses. So we do. We plug in nine. So it's two thirds of the square root of nine cubed, which is twenty seven, minus the two times the square root of nine, which is six. Right. Two times the square. Right. Minus. What is it going to be? Two thirds minus two. Is it generally a good sign when you end up plugging in 9 into something that you're square rooting for the evaluation? This is that yes. sign that you're dealing with the book. It's setting you up. This is a good sign or a very, very bad sign. So 2 thirds of that is going to be 1 fourth of what? 18 minus 6 is what? 12? 12. And it's going to be uh, minus, it's going to be, so we got 6 thirds. Third. So plus 4 plus thirds, right? Yeah. Plus 4 thirds, right? So we end up with 3 plus 40 over 3. three. No, 3 plus. Oh, if right. four cancels, right? So end up with what? 10 over 3. Like that. Absolutely. So the key here, let's just identify the key steps. The key steps were translating into 1 and 9. And then what else is it? This substitution right here. That's the other key step. Once you do that, it's just simplification and regular integration. So again, change your limits of integration and make sure, can you always substitute more? Absolutely. Some of the trickier use substitutions will te will definitely rely on substituting again. So before you give up and say, like, usually if you got to here and you see that, what's your first thought? I mean, what, what was my first thought? Uh -oh. Choose something else. Choose something else. Before you go back and choose something else, think to yourself for a split second, wait a minute, what does u equal? Can we substitute x in? Is x easy? Is x always easy to isolate? Uh -huh. No. Sometimes you're going to substitute in and x is not going to be easy to isolate, so that wouldn't be a really value, uh, viable option. What do we think u should be? Anybody have a good guess? u equals sine x. You Usually u is the thing on the inside, right? So what does du equal? No, du of sine is cosine, right? Cosine x, dx, so dx is cosine x. So you end up with zero. Uh, what's, what's sine of zero? Zero. 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 <laughs> Zero, right? Okay, so wow. my AP Calculus class just scored a 75% on that question. <laughs> What's the sign of pi over 2? Wait, wait, don't say it. Wait, wait, don't say it. Ready? On the count of three, you're going to say out loud at a good volume what the sign of pi over 2 is. One, two, three. One. Good.
Seven. Cosine. Don't know, just stay quiet. X. Yeah. Sine of. Mouth something. Sine of what? U, right? Times what? DU over cosine X. What cancels? Cosine, cosine X. Yeah, that's nice, right? That's actually pretty nice. So now you're just dealing with the integral from 0 to 1 of sine U DU. And that's just going to be what? Negative cosine U from... 0 to 1, so that's, what's cos, and do we have values? What's cosine of 0? 1. 1. So you end up with, just so you make, the easiest thing to mess up is the end here. You end up with negative cosine 1 minus negative cosine 0. What is cosine 0? 1. one. So you negative 1, so, it's me, so it's, what's it going to be? So you end up with 1 minus cosine of 1. Does that make sense, everybody? Yeah. Is cosine 1 anything that's no. nice? No, you leave it like that. You have to recognize that. Don't try to undo that. Cosine of 1 is not a nice number. Uh, du is equal to 2x dx. So dx is equal to what? d over what? du over 2x. OK, so let's substitute. <sighs> what does the lower one go to? <laughs> what are our limits of integration? Negative pi over 2. Squared. And what does the upper one go to? Pi over 2 squared. Over two squared. <laughs> this is a bad why is that a problem? No, I think we can just... Hold on. <laughs> I understand. But why is that a problem, Bill? That's very good. No. What's pi over 2 squared they're in comparison? They're equal. They're equal. Oh. What happens when you integrate from, from A to A? You get zero. You get zero. We broke it. We broke it. <laughs> <laughs> we broke it. Do you understand why it's broken? It's broken. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on. It's broken. It's a problem, right? <laughs> it's a problem. I don't like this. Okay, hold on a second. I'll, I'll give you this. There's a happy, there is a happy way to do this one, okay? We're getting there. So when we substitute this in, we end up with x squared times u over what? So the 6 times what? D du over cosine, cosine x, right? And all of a sudden you're like, huh, Why? You're trying to get down to just use, and what have you made? You're like the, the X's have bred and spread, and it's all of a sudden that's not happy, right? So in this case, do you have any other brilliant ideas about what to substitute? All of it. You could do U equals X, and that still doesn't get you anywhere. I'll just tell you that right there. Wait, you can't? Yeah, you can. There are times when that's useful. I'll really? Just, yes. In BC calculus, you will get to a point where that is useful. Yes. Substituting. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For yes, it is. Okay. It is. Okay, just go with it, okay? Okay. So it's graphing this thing. We're trying to integrate this from where to where. That looks to me no, like no, from negative what? Pi Actually, negative pi over 2. Like yeah. Ah, you're seeing something. Very wise. So we're integrating this thing from where to where? Negative pi over 2, which is right there, because this is zoom trig to what? It really looks like it integrates to zero. Okay, there is there was something in your section here. We didn't talk about it in class, but you should be able to logic it out. It, How could you prove that? Yes. If this is an odd function, what does that mean? Everything to the right of zero is going to be the opposite sign of everything so to the left. left. So what do we have to prove? Values, what do we have to prove? We have to prove the function is what? Odd. odd. So how do we prove a function is odd? If f of negative x equals negative f of x. Yes, if f of negative x is equal to... Negative f, of x. negative f of x, then f of x is uh, is odd. odd, right? So we have f of x is equal to x squared sine of x all over what? 1, One plus, plus 6. f of negative x is equal to negative x times sine of negative x all over negative 1 plus squared. negative x six. to the 6th, right? Yeah, Thank yeah. you. Yep. So if we do this one more time, we'll have to do two things. You end up with x squared sine of negative x all over 1 plus x to the 6th. Now here's the thing you have to remember. The what does? Twice. No, there's negative signs in there. There's um, Negative x times negative x is x squared, right? But you called them the same thing on the left. Called them the same thing. They are still the same thing. Oh, negative right. x times negative x is x squared. I simplified. Okay. What does sine of negative x equal? Do you remember? This, this is just something you have to remember about trig. It equals what? Negative it equals negative sine of x. If you take the opposite, it does equal that. that. The so therefore, f of negative sine x is equal to negative x squared sine of x all over 1 plus 
x to the 6, which is equal to negative the original function, right? Therefore what? Therefore, f of x is odd. And the rule is so, so the integral from negative a to a of f of x is therefore what? Zero. zero. The key thing is, if it's odd, you know the integral goes out to zero if what? If the limits are equal. No, the, they're opposite. The yeah, equal. you need to have them be opposite of one another, from a to a or negative a to a. Then it would be equal to zero. So here's the thing. So what's another thing? So first of all, our stumbling block on this first one was, oh, we couldn't cancel x right here, but oh, can we still substitute? Yes. If you run into a wall, you've tried every logical um, u substitution. Even before then, when you look at one of these things, this is this is going to come up like once every like hundred times. But when it does, it's super helpful. Look at the function. Is it even or odd? Is it odd? Oh, is it odd? Yeah. If you see, basically your key is if you see symmetric limits here, negative pi over two to pi over two, check to see if the function is odd. If okay. you see it goes from negative a to a, check to see if it's odd because if it's odd, you're, it's zero, and you're done. Is there any way to integrate this that you know of by hand? Not even. Not even. No, you really don't. It's mixing trig functions into like maybe what would be an inverse. It, ugh, it looks terrible, right? But you have this. If it's odd and you're integrating from negative a to a, what's the answer? Zero. And that is totally sufficient right there. I have a question. Yeah. If I ask you to integrate this, what's the integral of f of 2x dx going to be equal to? When you take the derivative, it, it pops out a 2, half. right? It has to be, it has one, to be half one half of? Um, f of 2x. Yes. Of two x. It's one half of what? f of 2x. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Therefore, if I asked you for the integral from 0 to 2 of f of 2x dx, what does that equal? Uh, one half f of f. 2x from what to what? 0 to what? Two. To 2. Are you with me, everybody? Yeah. When you take the derivative, if the 2x is in there, it pops out a 2. So we have to take care of that by multiplying by what? A half. So can we plug in 0 and 2 into this? What does that equal? 1 half of f of what? 4 minus 1 half of f of what? What can we factor out of both of these? 1 half. 1 half of f of 4 minus f of 0. What do we know f of 4 minus f of 0 is? 10. This is 10. So you end up with 1 half of 10, which is 5. There it is. Okay. That makes you think about what it means to integrate. Did we have any idea what the function itself is? No. no. But if you replace x with 2x and you want to integrate, what are you going to have to put out front? A 1 half to take care of that 2 that you're going to be popping up because of what rule? Chain. The chain rule, exactly. Chain. Correct? So now we have to take care of this thing right here. The integral of f, x f of x squared. If you want to integrate x f of x squared, what are you going to need to use? Chain rule <clears throat> and product rule. Substitute. And substitution. Substitution. The topic of this section. Can someone tell me what they want u to equal? X squared. X squared. Thank you. Good job, Bissell. So what's du? Dx. Yep. So what's dx equal to? u over 2x. So what do we do now? We substitute, right? Correct? We're going from what? 0 to 3? So what are our new limits of integration? 0 to what? 0 to 9. Ah, x times f of what? u times du over? What cancels? Is that exactly what we were hoping for? So this is equal to 1 half times the integral from 0 to 9 of f of u du. You know what this is equal to. Exactly. What's that equal to? Five. Nope. Four. 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 That is equal to four. So what's our answer? One half times four is equal to two. We did that. We know what this is. This tells us. It tells us originally. What is the integral from zero to nine? Four. Does it matter what we call the, 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 the variable? No. The function stays the same. Can we change the label of the function? No. The function is f. Does it matter what we call the variable? No. No. What that means is, you remember this? We talked about this yesterday. If, like the integral from 0, sorry, from a to b 
of f of x dx is equal to the integral from a to b of f of u du is equal to the integral from a to b of f of pony d pony right <laughs> exactly anything you want it's just another very it's just a variable name bob okay but the, so does it matter what we call the variable no do you remember that yesterday we did that question where it was like three different areas yeah. And we reduced it to the exact same integral. Did we have any idea what it evaluated to? No, but we reduced it to the same thing. We just ended up calling it something else. Is it totally random that we're using, we're calling it u substitution? Could have we used another value? Sure. I don't, u is dangerous for me because when I write u, it looks like an n sometimes or a v, right? Oh, yeah. And for some reason, when you do integration by parts for BC calculus, for, uh, for parts, you have to use a u and a v, right? So you have to consistently write this, u, v, dv, du. It just is messy. It can be really, really messy. Why two letters that kind of...